Ruby Chibi Season 2 Finale Battle of the Bands. This is the 22nd episode of Season 2, rounding it out as we're getting into the first episode of Ruby Volume 5, which technically uh, premiered this weekend, so I'm looking forward to eventually getting to see that because I'm not a first member, so I got like a couple more days to wait until um, I can actually watch that episode. But going into this, I was like, alright, it's the you know season finale, I'm curious about the length it was like that was like my main thing i didn't know what it was going to be about or anything because you know i just didn't want to know ahead of time so as soon as i'm watching it, it's like okay battle of the bands and going into it, i was like all right it's about three and a half minutes is i thought it was going to be like kind of a normal episode i was like oh i was surprised that it was so short and i was like okay it's just one long skit so that makes sense and honestly this is probably it's definitely to me at least one of the best episodes this entire volume and it was just really funny. Like, I really loved the way they did it. There were callbacks, like, throughout the entire thing from, you know, the way people were looking. It's like, oh, they did this in this episode, and this happened in this episode. Every single character was in this episode, even if they didn't have a focus. In the very uh, opening shot, you have, you know, they, you know, the volume one style where all the not important characters are just black silhouettes. But there were other characters in the crowd. They had uh, Old Man Shopkeep. They had Pira, and then they had Velvet, and all three of them were sitting in the crowd, and then uh, Zwei was like running between the crowd as Cinder was actually moving behind the curtain, but we don't actually get to see her during any other part. Like, she's not with the band or anything, but she was there during that opening shot, and she walks behind the curtain, and then we don't actually see her again. So they have every character in this. And of course, we have the teachers, so we have Ublek, uh, Port, and then we have both Winter and Crow as um like judges and then of course you have Ospin doing the um basically being like the uh, master of ceremonies so I thought that was awesome and we see all the characters you know everyone's got their bands and everything and it was super funny they of course have uh you know team ruby they're doing their thing and then that kind of references the episode where they were doing that which was I don't even remember what episodes they were but it was like everything feels like it was a super long time ago now <clears throat> excuse me but they have them do that, and Yang says exactly what she said in that episode, like, you know, we'll make, melt your faces off. And then Tai Yang comes and he's like, wait, you know, I wasn't recording, do it again. So, you know, they had that part come back. And then they had um, the Neptunes, as they called them, which I thought was really funny. And they were doing, like, the full uh, J-pop style with the dancing choreography. And Jean was still wearing, like, the Kiss makeup and stuff. So I was like, okay, that's pretty cool. I don't even remember what that skit was officially about. But I don't remember specifically them being a part of a boy band, but I think it was specifically because of, you know, the whole, the, the face makeup thing. It was like, they, I forgot what the misunderstanding was, but I was like, okay, I remember them doing that. So they come in as the Neptunes and they all have like the, um, the frosted tips and stuff. And I love what they did with Ren because he had a, one frosted tip where it was his colors and so it went from pink to green. I was like, that actually looks kind of cool. So... They come in and they do like their choreography and they literally like slide across the grass and stuff. And I thought that was really cool. And then they have, um, Johnny was like, see, I told you they love the makeup. And he's about to high five Neptune and Sun and Ren have to jump in like, no. And I forgot why. And then they show it happen later when everything's getting chaotic and Sun and Neptune, um, or not Sun and Neptune, but uh, Sun and Ren trip over each other and the mic flies up in the air and hits Jean and then he falls on Neptune and touches his face and it just like instantly blows up. And I was like, oh yeah, I forgot that that's why they were freaking out because he was allergic to the makeup. So I thought it was really funny. I love the way they did that. Um, Penny's thing I thought was hilarious where it was uh, P3 and Dash 3 and I love the joke that they made where Oscar was like, oh, it's Penny, but it's spelled stupid and she stopped and he was like, that's cute and then she smiled again. I thought that was a funny way to do that. Um, and her having like the full DJ set up I thought was pretty funny, but the song was actually kind of cool. It was like, it's a cool little beat. It didn't, it was like a repeating beat, but I was like, that's kind of a cool little beat actually. And then of course we have the trouble clefts, which were called the trouble clefts. So, so that made, um, that made, you know, Roman pretty mad. He, he was upset about that. So they go into it after the introductions for all the different bands and everything. And of course we have our villains you know, actually go up and they do their song, which was actually a pretty good song. I was like, I actually want a full version of this song because it actually, like, I love rock music. So I was like, this actually sounds pretty good. And they did, you know, of course, the guitar, they got the drums, and then they have Emerald uh, with the synthesizer uh, keyboard and stuff. And I was like, yeah, that's, yeah, that's definitely funny. So I love the way they did that. And of course, then it goes into the official battle of the bands where, it's really just all the heroes ganging up on the villains because it was only like a couple of them and then you have three separate teams coming in and beat up the bad guys. So it goes through and it has, um, 
you know, everybody, like, utilizes their instruments as weapons and stuff like that. And for whatever reason, this is why I had to be a weapon again. And so he's, you know, Ruby uses him as, like, a launch, like, launching him as, like, a bow or, like, an arrow. And he ends up attacking um, the Beowulf. The Ghost Grim ends up running into the, um, the kick drum. And then I love the way it like synced up with the music and Nora's just like stomping on his face and, or stomping on the drum and it's just hitting his face. So I was like, I love how it's syncing up with the music and it's really silly. Um, you know, Penny coming in, like she's flying and attacking and stuff like that. And then by the time everything's all said and done, Mercury's in the background on her DJ thing and he's like treading on the guitar and he just like flies past and that's when it gets to the official ending which is Ruby doing what she did in the last volume where she's like all right you know thanks for season two and they officially like address us as the viewers and I thought it was cool I definitely enjoyed it uh, like I said it was really funny a lot of callbacks which I thought was actually kind of cool because it was like you know little stuff like the allergic thing I was like I don't remember I didn't remember that part so when it happened I was like oh well, that, that, that happened I forgot so callbacks were awesome to it's funny that there were so many things with bands like I didn't realize that until this episode where it's like here's all these callbacks and I was like these were all different episodes and it was kind of funny like actually realizing that and I was like that's weird because they had the face melting thing and that was really early on I feel like that was only like this maybe second or third episode and then the boy band thing I think was probably like right down the middle and then the stuff with the villains was only a few weeks ago so it's really funny how they kind of had that set up all the way through and it was just like little stuff and it was like Nowhere in my head was it like really coming together, and um, then they added the penny thing. Unless that was in an episode, like unless I like skipped an episode, and I totally missed an episode. Um, I don't remember that being in this volume like at all, or even last volume. So that I believe uh, was brand new, but the other stuff with the other bands was definitely in there. So I was like, oh, that's definitely cool that they had that idea set up for like this battle of the bands thing. And maybe they did. Maybe it was just like, oh, we've done like band jokes. Let's just you know keep that going and do it for the finale. But Definitely loved it, loved the callbacks, um, loved the jokes, excuse me, um, actually liked the song, especially, you know, the villains actually did do a song, and I was like, kind of want a full version, I think that would actually be pretty cool, just a rock instrumental song, I think would actually be kind of cool, so, might have to look that up, see if there's, you know, a possibility to get that, but, that was actually a really good season finale, I like this one a lot more than I like the last season finale, to be totally honest, I thought that one, um, I think a lot of people didn't really like that. I don't know. Like, I remember talking to my friend. He was like, yeah, it just wasn't that good. It was probably like my least favorite episode of the last volume or last season. I feel weird calling like the cheapy version volumes. But um, of the last season, it was like my least favorite episode. And it was just like, it was meant to be forced jokes, but they still felt forced. So it was like, it didn't, it never came out to be funny to me. And I was just like, I just don't like this as the final episode for the season. But this time... Definitely loved it. It was definitely one of my favorite episodes for this season. And I am excited for next year. Um, who knows what we're going to get as far as extra characters. Probably some newer ones. Definitely, like, there's still a million older characters that we still haven't seen. So, maybe we'll get them in uh, Season 3, Ruby Chibi Season 3. So, I'm looking forward to that. But, definitely thought this was a great way to send off Ruby Chibi. It was definitely a funny one. Um, actually, like I said, I like the songs, so I'm probably going to have to look that up, but we'd love to know what you guys thought about this episode, so please comment below, let me know your favorite parts about it, your least favorite parts about it, and as far as this entire season goes for Ruby Chibi, we'd love to know your favorite moments and least favorite moments from it, um, just like what stuck out to you guys, for me, gotta go with Junior Detective, everything they did with that was just like some of my favorite stuff, so I love the Junior Detective stuff, um, just seeing some of the, the newer characters is definitely awesome. Having Crow in there a bunch in the winter was definitely cool. Seeing, you know, pretty much the adults was actually pretty cool. So I definitely love that. Um, this episode, honestly, just because of all the callbacks and stuff like that. The movie episode that they did where everyone was going through all the different movie ideas. Love that one because that had Jean in his superhero thing, which is hilarious. And then Ruby with, like, her horror movie where it's raining why That was just hilarious. So... Definitely love those. Um, some of the dad stuff with Tai Yang was definitely awesome. I just remembered the name of the thing. It was Puns and Roses. That's what it was. I was like, I was trying to remember the name of, you know, uh, Yang's band. It was Puns and Roses, which is a great uh, reference to Guns and Roses, which is one of my favorite rock bands in itself. So that just totally worked. I was like, yep, yeah, that, that's an easy way to do that. And it's it's great. It's a, it's a great pun in itself because it's, you know, that joke. But... Yeah, it was just awesome. It was just a great finale, but Junior Detective, 100% loved all of that stuff. Every single thing they did with that was just great to me. 
Um, even if they didn't technically say it was Junior Detective, like the noir thing, um, you know, it was still, you know, Neptune and Sun doing some stuff, mostly Neptune, but loved all of that and him having the inner monologue and Sindra being able to hear everything he said in his head. Um, Pira, or not Pira, uh, Nora. Nora this season, I loved. She had some hilarious freaking background shots. Um, I made like a whole video about that. I mentioned that before. I'm gonna put that at the end of this. Um, that was hilarious. Some of the stuff that focused on her, absolutely amazing. The stuff with Ren was funny. Like, I mean, that's pretty much all. If it's focused on Nora, it's her focusing on Ren. That's pretty much it. So all of her stuff was great as well. And that's just, her character is awesome. So Junior Detective, Nora stuff. Um, I think they did a, a really good job with the villains, actually, this season as well. I think they did some really hilarious stuff with them. The soccer thing that they did was actually pretty funny too. But all in all, definitely a, a really fun season. So I hope season three is a lot like this one because I had a really good time with it. There was a lot more stuff that I laughed at. You know, just more and more characters getting introduced. So can't wait to see how that's kind of implemented into the next season. But like I said, want to know your favorite moments as well as your least favorite moments from this season. And of course, what you guys thought about this finale in general. So please comment below. Let me know. And thanks for watching.